Now what I want is the facts. Teach these boys and girls nothing but facts. Facts alone are wanted in life. Plant nothing else and root out everything else. Stick to the facts, sir. Thomas Gradgrind, Hard Times. The debate over the curriculum, over what we teach in schools, has obviously been going on for a long time. We've had the skills versus knowledge debate. We've had the uh, subject-centred versus the thematic approach or the project approach. We've had disciplinary versus interdisciplinary. We've had subject-centred versus learner-centred and so on. And into that mix, we also have the debate about the wider or hidden curriculum and more recently, the debate about metacognition, how we learn, teaching learners to learn, helping them to think about thinking. But for me, there are two immediate problems with this curriculum debate. The first is that I think in most serious educational theory, there is some truth. So if we take the knowledge-based approach, and we're thinking here of the work of E.D. Hirsch, um, core knowledge, the knowledge deficit, or Michael Young and powerful knowledge. Of course knowledge is important. C knowledge has got to be the foundation of our learning, because if it's not, then we're talking about fantasy, fiction, make-believe. Knowledge has to be the starting point. But equally, if we look at the skills-based approach, and let's look at something like Bloom's taxonomy or the revised Bloom's taxonomy. Who could possibly deny that there is an ascending hierarchy of skill when you compare someone listening to a Mozart piano sonata with someone who can play a Mozart sonata to someone who can compose a sonata in the style of Mozart with someone who can compose a sonata in a completely different style but of the same quality as a Mozart sonata. So there is clearly some truth in most serious educational theory. But the second problem is that, unfortunately, every time a new theory is developed or a theory becomes fashionable, certain people jump on that theory as if it's some sort of messianic revelation. They jump on it with the determination and the, the myopia of a zealot assuming that everything else has got to be wrong. We've got to throw the ba a baby out with the bathwater and start again. This is what we've been waiting for. This is the answer. Despite the fact that this debate has been going on for many years, and as I say, there is some truth in most theory. So what is the answer? Well, for me, the answer is really common sense. The starting point has to be knowledge, content. But what is the purpose of that knowledge? The purpose of that knowledge is understanding. So knowledge should lead to understanding. And then thirdly, what we need to encourage youngsters to do is to think and to use that knowledge to apply, to critically analyse, to evaluate, to use in different situations. 